And here we go. Andy, Tomas Murasaki, Tynan, Dalpra, Costa. Big start. Such a well-timed throw right into the closed guard of Tynan Dalpra. His closed guard is starting to pass. Tynan has a very nice grip on the back of the belt, keeping Andy's posture broken under, or sorry, broken over, and now an underhand grip on the left-hand side. A very intelligent move by Andy Murasaki to not let the grip exchange of Tynan Dalpra happen as he opened up the closed guard. Now Tynan gets under the leg. Look at this amazing control of Andy Murasaki's right leg with Tynan's left hand and his left foot was underneath, but Andy popped it back out and now he puts it back in single leg X. So we can see Tynan's gonna be able to switch his left leg back and forth between single leg X and X as needed and try to use that to tilt Andy over one way or the other. A lot of options here once you have that foot on the shoulder. This is a this is a matchup, Kendall, we have seldom seen. I don't think we've seen this yet at Black Belt. Tynan Dolbra up on a sweep. And this is where we see Tynan Dolpra shine. We'll see what answer Andy Murasaki has for the incredible passing pressure of Tynan Dolpra. Yeah, he spins right over here to even up the score. And exactly like you said, Tynan shines. Oh, Tynan immediately gets a leg drag to the side. This is not looking good for Andy Murasaki. He turtles up. Oh, but that is a secure guard pass for Tynan Dolpra. Yeah, this is classic tying in here. We see so much beautiful guard passing from leg drags. It's smash passing. And once he gets to side control, my favorite thing about his pressure here is his insane cross face. Look how he rotates Andy Murasaki's head all the way to the right side. It makes it so impossible for Andy to frame, turn towards him, try to recover the guard. And his shin pinning on the forearms is something that's very impressive as well. Tanendopper awarded an advantage for the near Neon Belly. And you see, this is another really interesting thing Tynan Dolpert does. He lifts the shoulders of Andy Murasaki off the mat often whenever Andy Murasaki tries to create any movement. It's always so much harder to, to move your legs when your head is off the mat. Yeah, it's one thing to withstand the pressure of Tynan in this position. And it's another to actually try to recover your guard from here, right? Because now you're not just relieving the pressure, but you're also advancing your position. So Andy has, a, has the right idea, of course. You know, he has the right hand here in the collar, a nice cross face. But one thing we see Tynan do that's interesting, he like picks up his weight and drops it back on the chest in the sternum over and over. And back into a quarter guard here with a knee shield is Andy Murasaki, so this is looking a little bit better. But the problem here with Andy's left arm positioning because he's isolated he's like really holding Andy's hip in place is he can go right back into a strong passing position which would award him another three points now something important we need to keep in mind as well is that in the semifinals Ronaldo Jr. was able to get back to his guard after getting his guard passed by Tynan Dalbra so we'll see if Andy Mursaki is able to make the same magic happen but that's the thing about regathering the half guard is it only makes the lead bigger when you pass and now Tynan it's an interesting strategy. Passing his own lapel over. Oh, we'll see if he's able to make a submission happen here. He's gonna start to rotate towards the head. Use that left arm. Oh, he lets go of the pass. Or he lets go of the grip and lapel for the second. Yeah, then he realized the recovery was coming, so it's better to maintain position than continue moving forward and risk getting put back in the guard. But again, look at this heavy, heavy cross face pressure. And now instead of his own lapel, passes Andy's lapel from the other side of his body, back behind his shoulder, and look at that shoulder pressure, my God. Andy's face is totally facing the other way. Another guard pass, with three points on the board, making this an 11-2 lead with still almost six minutes to go. And this choke is this it? on. Andy looks okay here, but will be awarded an advantage. Such a tough spot to be, and so taxing on the energy of Andy Murasaki to continually defend guard pass after guard pass and be stifled underneath the weight of Tynan Dalbra. There really is something to be said, though, for the way Andy is playing this, because a lot of people get too scared of getting their guard repass for the points, and so they just kind of accept bottom position. So I love that, you know, Andy is such a game competitor. He's going after it over and over and over, trying to recover, trying to find his way back to attacking. But oh, here we but see this looks like it could be it. it. Look at the staple with Tynan's left shin on that forearm so that he can't use his arm to defend. 
Looking for the Kanto choke here. Yeah, this is tight here. Andy Murasaki in such a tough spot here. Yeah, Tynan so effectively pins that forearm with his left leg, so it really only gives Andy one arm to defend. He readjusts the grip. He's going to circle back towards oh, the head again. Oh, and this is looking like it's going to be it. He's going to drive his hips in. And, and Tynan Dockrow once again wins a Black Belt World Championship. What looked like such a promising start from Andy Murasaki was met with not one, not two, but three guard passes and a submission from Tynan Dalpra. Two-time middleweight gold medalist here, Tynan Dalpra. The AOJ black belt does it again. Six months later. And your 2022 adult male black belt middleweight champion is Tynan Dalpra. Retains his middleweight title.